Oh, that's amazing. I've literally got every door and window open in the house. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. It is another glorious day in London. It is literally boiling. We are melting. We don't get to enjoy it and lie in it or do nothing in this weather because we are rushing around because we leave to go away tomorrow. And as always, we are running out of time. I swear you always need another day. I think that happens to everybody. But um, yeah, we are running around the house like maniacs, trying to get packed and sort everything else. But before I went, I really wanted to get this video in. Over lockdown, we organized the house and the kitchen was obviously our main priority. We enjoyed it so much and we learned so much. We're really trying to be more sustainable within the kitchen with what we're purchasing and how we're using things and what we're throwing away. So I really wanted to share with you guys what we've been doing and give you guys some help and some inspiration. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering because I have a lot to do today. And I'm gonna jump right into this video. Before I get started guys, just a little quick reminder to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget so that you get the notifications. I upload videos every Sunday and you don't wanna miss them. So make sure you subscribe. And as soon as you have, we can go ahead and get started with the video. Just put that down. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys was our spice area. So. So as you can see, we have got them all in dark jars and they are all exactly the same. We've just simply reused some jars that we buy for another thing. And then we've just labeled the spices so we know which ones they are. And I just think it looks so, so lovely. They're on a three tier sort of shelf. You can probably see so that you can see them all and they're all uniform. And we're gonna do the same over here this is a mess. I didn't want to show you guys, but I needed to explain. So you know what I mean? But this will look like this. Now where we got these jars from is, if we bring you over to the other cupboard, this is actually my supplement cupboard with all the goods. And it is from my favorites, Kiki Health. So all that we do is we soak the jars, remove the sticker, and then we start using them elsewhere in the house. So we're not throwing anything away. And there's different sizes, so you have the smaller size, and then at the back you can see all the big ones. Guys, and these dark jars actually repel the sunlight. So the light, if the light gets in, like you know your clear jars, if the light gets in, it basically expires the food a lot quicker. So it kills off the nutrients and the compounds within the food or whatever's in the jar basically so you always need a dark jar to retain it especially essential oils and things like that so that's another really great thing about these jars the sticker comes off fairly easily it's no work at all and then like i said we just have a label maker and we will just put a label on whatever it is and we use this throughout the house so these never go in the bin and even if we don't need them, we start giving them to other people to use. Once they see my spice rack, they're onto it. They wanna do it themselves. So you can always inspire others. So these are really, really great. But obviously you can do that with whatever jars that you regularly buy that are glass. But I do recommend buying the dark, the darker ones. And also if your supplements aren't coming in glass, dark jars, then they're not gonna be the best. They need to be in these sort of jars. Under our supplements, we have our teas. So we used to buy a lot of um, bag teas before, and now we have decided to just buy loose. Again, we just fill these up with the tea and don't use any single use. I have a few old um, bits left over that we need to use up, but once this is all out of the way, we're just going to be buying loose tea and filling it up in glass jars. These jars we got from Ikea, they're so good. They're nice and big. And then you can see inside, we have got little tiny bamboo spoons. They are so great. 
I'll link these below for you, but we literally have them in every single jar. Um, obviously, you don't want to be putting your fingers in because it's mucky. And yeah, to go and grab a spoon, you, this is a lot quicker. And I just think it's really cute and it looks nice and it's all sustainable. We don't have to wash these over and over and over again. They just sit in the jars. Also with this, we decant. This is our... Palmyra jaggery, which is a sweet. Now it's from a, it's from the palmyra tree. It's a blossom, um, and we put that as well in a jar. So everything you can see goes in jars. And then over here we have our recyclable straws. This is what I use for my lemon and water every morning, and for my green juice, and anything else really. But they're the main ones. And that so far is the tea cupboard. It does still need a bit of work, but we're starting to get there. It's a work in progress. So as you can see, more and more is going into glass jar storage, which has reduced the amount of plastic and single use so much. We hardly handle single use anymore. It's a very, very small amount these days. We keep most of our superfoods in here. It's actually looking a bit messy. I should have cleaned this up and filled up these drawers before I decided to do this. But um, we buy either large packets of like seeds and um, powders and stuff like that that come in recyclable packaging or we'll just go fill up. So Planet Organic do a refill where you just take the jar and then you refill it. This is a really nice way to avoid single use plastic. So that is how we keep our jars, but I feel I could make this better, but it's, but it's good, it works. Next, oh, there's our little garlic. That is still from when I went to Spitterfield at the beginning of lockdown. So if you hang the garlics like this, they will keep and they dry out a little bit, but that's how you're supposed to store them. And that's now, we've bought that garlic and we've had it for about five months now. So next, I wanna take you over to the cleaning cupboard. So this is so organized to how we had it before. So we've basically just bought some wicker baskets to store everything in. There's not much product because we now make our own products. So I actually, I'm gonna call Stefania for this because she is the pro when it comes to the cleaning products. Here she comes. To wreck the day. To wreck the day. Where's that from? Um, okay, so Stefania. Hello. This is Stefania's domain. Domain, love. It's just my baby. Passion, my passione. Right, what have we got going on here? So we've I've showed them the baskets. It's a bit empty. Um, <laughs> it is empty because we're not buying any product really. So this one is my multi-purpose cleaner, which I'll show you how to make. Um, and then there's some bicarbonate soda, which I use for everything. Yeah, that's kind of multi-purpose, isn't it? Um, you got some of these jars. Again, the dark jars. This is where you store all your products, don't you? Yeah, I love these. And then you've got the dustpan and brush, that's which bamboo. is bamboo. Um, which I'll link b below. Oh, and also a really great tip for being sustainable. Oh, what's that? That's um, made out of recycled plastic. So that's an eco window cleaner, but it's a double. So it's the window cleaner and the dryer. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll link that below. But I wanted to also mention as we're down here, over here, when Stefania moves her arm, there, we have a water filter. So we got this installed just before lockdown didn't we yeah. we have stopped buying plastic bottles we've saved so much money so it's literally this tap so it's a grower tap no. here you have the normal water and on this side you have your filtered drinking water i don't really want to waste it but i'll turn it on for you that's enough <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's our water we don't buy any bottled water of any sort anymore and of course that is just so great and sustainable it tells you when you need to yeah it, it gives you a heads up when yeah, you have a day 64 days left to start reset yeah we change it so easy we can do it so that's all a new setup really which we're really really pleased with and then over here steph 
So this is a bamboo, and that's recycled plastic. Um, I use it for bottles, but anything deep to clean. And where, what brand is this one? Figar. V-I-G-A-R. Figar. Okay, cool. I think it's Figar. So is um, that the same? This one is a vegetable brush, but I'm not sure where that is, but that's all eco, obviously, to clean the vegetables. For our vegetables. Oh. Washing up liquid that I've made. So this, again, is, as you can see, dark amber bottle, um, and we refill this. We will take it to the store and just refill it. Or make one. Or make one, yeah, just depending on what's happening that week or month. And that just sits there. I'm actually going to pop a label on that as well. So as you can see, everything's very simple and tidy and organised and minimal, which has been really nice. That's been the nice thing, hasn't it? The fact that everything's so minimal and organised, mm. it's just easier to easier to find find things clean. it saves time it's literally been a breath of fresh air hasn't it like having so nice. everything so like organized and easy to access no ugly packaging lying around to put away things are a lot easier and simpler it's just literally yeah amazing feng shui just if that's how you say it best for the environment better for, yeah and it feels so good that you're doing your part mm. um so it's really really nice aesthetically pleasing oh unlike me it's very aesthetically pleasing yeah even just yeah just the simplicity is so nice um you cook better I cook yeah better, the feng shui please. the feng shui the and feng shui cook. the energy is just moving around the kitchen around <laughs> stefania stefania's moving around we actually wanted to share with you guys two cleaning recipes today um, Stefania is a whiz when it comes to the cleaning. She actually loves cleaning, like is in love. Like it's, I love it. It's her passion. It's, it's the problem I've got. Um, I love cleaning, but I just don't have time for cleaning all the time. But Steph loves cleaning. It. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's just her department. Mine's the food, and Steph loves to clean. And we sometimes do a bit of the other. Like we always swap yeah. it, but you know, you're better at cleaning. I, I mean, have, you're better at cooking. Oh, no, 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 I mean, you're better at cooking. I am better at cleaning. No, you're not. You're generally good. You're not organised. Stefania, yeah, literally, is a different thing. Stefania, literally, if I went to show you her room right now. Go on. Is it tidy? No. Stefania literally <laughs> will clean something and then you'll go back an hour later and it's just like a hurricane's been through the room. It's like, she, she, you're Monica from Friends. She's got that weird got cupboard. cupboard. In fact, no, your cupboard is, is, my room. is everywhere. No, it's not. Wherever you walk. No, my cupboard is my room. Whereas like, Here I'm super clean. organized. Everything yeah, has its place. Organized. Anyway, like we're babbling and we have a lot to do today. We need to <laughs> pack, um, but let's get cracking with these two cleaning um, products. Okay, I'm just gonna pop you here. So the first thing is a multi-purpose cleaner. Yeah? Yep. Which basically is orange peel. Orange peel and vinegar. In just vinegar? Yeah, white vinegar or in distilled vinegar. Distilled vinegar or white vinegar. So you would fill a jar. I know this one isn't amber. <laughs> That's Tommy. I know this isn't amber, but this is just for it to like... Yeah, but also I keep it in a dark cupboard. It has to be so... stored in a dark cupboard for yeah. two weeks. So basically you peel your oranges, pop them in a glass jar, make sure it's a big one, and then fill it with vinegar. And then that needs to be stored away for two weeks and we store it in a cool, dry, dark, dark place, place for two weeks. That is literally it. And then, once we're done... <laughs> you take out the orange peels. Talk, I'm just gonna go and uh, let Tommy yep. in. So basically, once you've left it in the jar for two weeks, you just take out all the orange peels and then you just pour it into your dark spray bottle. Come on. How are you doing, Steph? <laughs> Fine. She's so, faffing around the kitchen, isn't she? Imagine they're gone, the orange peels, and you just pour it. Hold it up, hold on. So we fill the jar. And then we pop in the top and it's this one's a spray one and then that's it you literally spray wipe spray wipe 
It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Well. There's no chemicals. Eco. Eco. Better and breathing. Yeah, it's just family. safe. Stefania has just gone to the front door. Someone's there. But the amount of chemicals that you get in your normal cleaning products is insane and it's so bad for you it's so bad to breathe in it's so bad for your skin just in general it's just not good so when it's that easy to make there's really no excuse um and obviously no waste at all you're using everything even the orange pill so it's really really good so to join the party yes yeah, sorry and that's that one so the next one we want to show you guys is a window cleaner right yep so what do we need for that? So for that, all we need is another glass bottle. This next recipe is actually from Make and Create Recipe Book for an Essentially Clean Home. And they're all natural recipes and it's using essential oils. It's actually where we got our amber spray bottles from. They have loads of cleaning kits and recipes as you can see and also labels which i thought was really cute we have actually been doing the glass cleaner so we're going to make that now swipe the smudges glass cleaning spray so the first thing you need is your spray bottle of course then you need eight drops of a citrus essential oil so we're going to be using wild orange zuterra essential oil doTERRA is our go-to essential oil we love their products the so best. eight drops of this into the bottle one two three eight then we need 350 ml of white vinegar which we just add in. Oh, I just do it like that. It's been, it's been playing. Steady hand. Are we going to use the spout? Yeah. Funnel even. Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. So I Not clean, so great. Clean for the floor as well. I'm going to use this this time because that was a little bit risky. <laughs> and then we have 125 mil. Yep, no, 120 ml of distilled water, yeah. which we add in with that. And that is literally it. Pop on the lid. And then you give it, let me just, let me just dry the bottle. And then you need to give it a good shake. You have to do this each time when you use it. So every time you pick yeah. this up to use it, you need to shake it. How simple. I know. Like it's, it's insane, easier than going it? to the shop. That's glass cleaner. It. I know it takes longer than queuing it? up and putting your mask on. That's it. Done. That's it. No mask. This is the bit that she gets excited. This is the bit I get excited over. This is like me cleaning. This is her. Guys, cleaning. I've been so excited for this to arrive. It arrived the other day. Yeah. It's my label maker amazing so I will write printing <gasps> done glass cleaner oh it's bent sound no it's not <laughs> don't say that. Just about to cry. <laughs> and that's it that's done and we forgot to mention that you don't need to throw these away. These are really good if you want to get rid of ants, if you put the orange peel that's been in the vinegar for Without two weeks. Without killing the ants. Without killing the ants, yeah. just dump this by where they are living and they will just move on. And also it's good around the vegetable patch where you get other animals, they just don't like it. So you just don't need to throw that away and that will decompose mm -hmm. into the ground. And that's the two cleaning products. Look how easy it was, I need to put a label on that. But it was so easy, so simple, you guys. Literally, we've done it with you. Looks nice. It looks really nice. And yeah, yeah you've matchy, matchy. used stuff that doesn't involve single use, which is amazing. So lastly, I wanted to actually do a little unboxing with you. I ordered a few sustainable things for the kitchen because we didn't have any or they needed to be replaced. 
So yeah, we'll go do that now. Tommy always has to make an appearance. Hello, Tommy. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you having a nice day? Oh, I'm going to miss him so much. I'm going to miss you so much. So much, Tommy. He's such a teddy bear. You're such a teddy bear. Look at his toes. <laughs> So we needed some more brushes, um, so we've got, if I remember correctly, this is their bottle brush set. As everything in the kitchen now is mainly glass bottles as you saw, you need to clean them properly and I just really wanted a set. So we cover all the sizes, which is so, so useful, that's the brand, Bamboo. Then we got another brush. Oh, this is a dish brush, which I just find sustainable products so aesthetically pleasing. Like it's just a neutral color. Um, it's really nice. I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's just the dish brush. So it's plastic free, recyclable. It's got bamboo handle and it's got sisal bristles. And then lastly, we got some reusable paper towels. So. We want to stop buying the paper towels that we normally get and we want to switch over to reusable ones. We don't use a lot of paper towels, but we do occasionally. So we're going to give these ones a try. They are, yeah, reusable, ultra absorbent, super soft, organic bamboo. And that's that from that box. Packaged so well. Oh, okay, so this is from Liga. So they do um, eco living, love eco living, organic, recycled, sustainable um, products. And so we ordered some, we needed some table mats for outside and we ordered these. They're really lovely and neutral, I think. So these are made from a combination of cork and recycled um, plastics. They're actually named Beach Clean. So these ones I think are made from products like flip-flops. And it feel, it kind of feels a bit flip-floppy, but it's really soft, it's really, really lovely. So we got a few of those, which I really like, and they go with the aesthetic of the kitchen. Oh yeah, so then we got some dishcloths. These are super absorbent, and they can go in the dishwasher. So they are just some basic um, dishcloths, obviously eco. Um, they also have some fish on the other side of them. So they're quite cute and then they're plain in the middle. So these are nice. There's two in there. And then lastly, we got a tea towel. So this one is their organic cotton tea towel. And it says sardines because it has a few sardines on it. Um, again, it's a completely neutral, natural material colour. I think I'm actually going to order some more of those because they're really nice neutral colour. I'd like to get some plain ones too. I really like them. So that is everything from the unboxing of what I bought. I think we've covered everything. I don't think there is... Anything else? We're discovering more sustainable kitchen products that we really like and they go with our aesthetics. So there will probably be another episode of Sustainable Kitchen with me. I think that's it for today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any tips or other brands that you know of, please comment them below. I really want to broaden my knowledge of sustainable kitchens and 
I need more inspiration. Like I said, it's a work in progress. And also I want to cover the entire house eventually. So yeah, comment everything below, let me know. And if you like today's video guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that button so that you are notified when I post a video, it's every Sunday. And lastly, come over, say hey on my Instagram. It's at Honestly Alessandra. I love hearing from you guys and I'm on there daily so you guys can keep up with what I'm doing that's all healthy and sustainable and plant-based. But now I think we need to get a crack a lack in with our packing. We have to catch a flight in 15 hours and we're not packed yet. So I am gonna leave you guys here and I will see you next week.